So this is the uh, Eufy, I guess, baby smart sock. Um, it's basically a heart rate monitor that your baby wears while it's sleeping. It kind of tracks their movement, it tracks their heart rate, and it kind of compiles all the data for you. Uh, with the sleep sock, it came with a camera, which we just mounted to the wall. I think there's like a clip or something. You could mount it to the uh, side of the crib. This is with all the uh, lights in the room off and the door closed and everything. It's uh, kind of amazing what they can do with no light. You can go in and you can zoom in, you can see, you can zoom out. You can even pan the camera side to side, but for us all we really care about is the crib. And you can set it up so if it hears like a loud noise, uh, the camera will automatically start recording and it'll send you a notification. So that way you can go back and you can look at like, oh, why did she wake up at this time? And it's like, oh, somebody was delivering something and the doorbell went off. Or the dog decided to bark. Uh, here, if you scroll down, you can see smart sock is not worn properly because the smart sock is right here. It's on the little dummy foot that came with the uh, packaging. It also came with the base. The base is again flashing the socks off to let you know. And uh, it also flashed in the middle of the night if the uh, baby's starting to stir. Uh, before we got this, our only really way to track our baby's sleep was just to stare at a monitor on our bedside table and trying to sleep with that bright screen right in your face is really not quality sleep. But uh, with this, the greatest thing is that you can go back into the dashboard and uh, you can go back. So for this night, our total sleep was 11 hours, 33 minutes night sleep. It goes down to the day sleep. It'll break down the uh, average heart rate for when she was sleeping. And then the great part is you can go back into the history the following morning. You can click on the sleep. And then it gives you this uh, cursor. And with a cursor, you can drag it across. Uh, let me grab it, sorry. And you can kind of track what's going on. So she slept pretty soundly until about 1 a.m. And then she woke up and we had to go in. And uh, she was able to fall back asleep about 1.50. Then she again slept all the way basically until about 4 o'clock, stirred a little bit, and went back to sleep. And then we had to get in at 5 o'clock for one last feeding. It's also kind of nifty because you scroll down and you can say like, oh, when we ended up going back in at 1 a.m., her heart rate was 160, 170, which is because she was screaming her ears off because she was hungry and uh, just needed a little bit of comfort. And it's kind of nice to be able to go back and go minute by minute and track everything. It shows you the average heart rate, the heart rate range. I guess abnormal, you can set it if it gets too low or too high to uh, alarm and notify you. Uh, if you're worried about SIDS, I feel like this would be a great tool to help prevent it. Like I said, for us the big thing was uh, just not staring at a screen all night. Having this little hub next to us, it was able to kind of guide it. It does uh, audible announcements you can turn on and off. And uh, for us, it's been a great tool.